It's fall, y'all. I got this bundle of yellow tulips and bundle of like mums and daisies at the flower shop because I wanted something like more creative to do for fall. I thought the pop of yellow would look really nice against these fall colors. I know I talked about this in the last vlog a little bit, but I'm just not a huge fan of the fall colors. Like the, you know, the purples and the maroons are not my favorite, but when you pair them with like a happy yellow tulip, you just can't go wrong. So I'm gonna put these together. And then mom and I, I'm at mom's house today, we're gonna make apple brown Betty. Her recipe is legendary, so I'm very excited. Let's go get these in a beautiful arrangement. Oh, see, if you look at all of these leaves, those need to come off. You look cute. Thank you. All of these just leaves, junk it up. And some leaves on flowers are really pretty, and some are just ugly. Yeah, like these. These are ugly. Yeah. Okay. I think you might have to get a couple in there. Let's start there. <laughs> this one. That's good. Oh, I like it. Oh yeah, this is it really It's is. the shorter bouquets that are challenging. Mm -hmm. We probably need to do yeah. is kind of see where we are. Yeah. There we go. I like it. Can make that one shorter. Yes, ma'am. We might be good. Okay. Okay, so now you can fill in with, with your the tulips. tulips. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. That's really pretty. I love how these will just kind of wallop over, you know? Yeah. I love that you're like recutting all of mine. Well, I like them to wallop over, but not too wallop. Yeah, I get it. Okay, so what the heck is Apple Brown Betty? Well, Apple Brown Betty was... Who's Betty? I don't know who Betty is. I don't know who Betty <laughs> is. That's a good question. Obviously, whoever first made it, we know her name is Betty. Yeah. But it was Ronald Reagan's favorite dessert, which just oh. a fun fact. The difference in an apple brown Betty and an apple crisp is an apple crisp does have the oatmeal in the topping, and that's what you asked me about. You said you remembered I yeah. put oatmeal in it, and I did this is way too long. when I did, I believe, a peach crisp. There we go. That's pretty. <gasps> this is making me so happy right now. The lips need to be even shorter. You're right because they need to stand up. They need to have more height, more lift. There we go. Okay, good. I want one kind of standing up in yes, the center. Yes, me too. So, just apple crisp, the only difference in apple crisp and apple brown Betty is apple crisp does have oatmeal in your topping. There we go, beautiful. I love it. Earlier this morning, we peeled the apples, six of them. Granny Smith. Yes beautiful green which is why i'm wearing my green or you can use rome apples or another oh. tart apple it's a tart okay tart apple and then we sliced them really thin because you've done this before many times and you like the thin yeah well the fa get fam family friends don't like chunky apples so we like them thin so sliced them very very thin right. we should sample it they're delicious good <laughs> We'll just start marinating in some orange juice and cinnamon. Yes, yeah, so then in this bowl, as we cut them, we had orange juice in here and cinnamon That's and it. nutmeg. And then you kind of just marinate them. Yeah, let them all melt all those flavors. And they marinate. really did soak it up. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. A lot of people will use lemon juice, which you can use. I prefer. Oh, yeah, that's right. You did say that. And the recipe, the original recipe that was shared with me from your great grandmother used orange juice. Oh. And the acidity of the juice, be it lemon juice or orange juice, actually pulls out the juices of your fruit, of the apple. So you get, it's actually when it bakes too, it'll help pull the juices out. So the apples like add to the sauce. Oh, the juice, it pulls yeah. the juice out, yeah. And Gorgeous. when they bake, obviously it pulls the juice out. Gorgeous. So then we make a syrup. Better. Do you want me to go put these in the microwave? Yes, if okay. you would soften that better. Gorgeous, how long? Um, just wash it, maybe 35. Okay. Fun fact, Stephen's groom's cake was peach cobbler, mm -hmm. and this is like going to be a close second for yeah. him. I already know he's going to He's going to love it. He'll this. love it. So we're going to pour some butter into our orange juice, and our orange juice is warm also. Mm. And if you want to grab a spoon, okay. we'll add our brown sugar. Again, a tablespoon of brown sugar. You could do two. You don't have to want to go too, too sweet because obviously our topping is quite sweet and delicious. The trash can. Yeah. Other, again, this is just making a syrup of orange juice, melted two tablespoons of butter. That's like so wild. And about a tablespoon of um, brown sugar. 
light, dark brown sugar, it doesn't matter. I prefer light. Yeah. The difference in your brown sugars, light brown sugar mm -hmm. and dark brown sugar, is your amount of molasses. Actually, it's the molasses that makes your the, light, the sugar brown sugar that gives it the color. Yeah. Uh, so this is literally making it into a syrup. It's right. so cool. This it is. is literally a syrup okay. now. Yeah. I'm going to let you pour that and just stir that up over those apples. Oh, okay. And you'll see it's got a little, when you pour it, you'll see it's got a little thickness to it. I would lower it a little bit in my splatter. See, it's, it like, it's kind of thick, like caramelly sort of. Wow. It is like a caramel. No, I will tell you, I have seen a recipe where instead of this little syrup we made, you can actually warm some caramel sauce. Oh. Which I think would be great. Yeah. So if you just want to mix that up okay. and get that all happy. That you up. taught me to clean as you go. Yeah. <laughs> that's go. the goal. It doesn't always happen, but that's the goal. Yeah. Okay. So, so. you're going to get that yes. mixed up. So I'm going to add our, um, get our streusel topping together. We've got, um, will you hand me a spoon so I don't... You want to grab the plate of butter out of the freezer. Oh. And I'll tell you why the cube butter is in the freezer. It's a whole stick of salted butter. Just came out of the freezer. Cubed it about two hours in the fridge. And then just for 10 minutes, we popped it in the freezer. The reason is, what did I get? Oh, I'm doing this. you want that um, really cold butter. So when you make your topping and when the heat hits the butter, that's what, that's how you get that really crispy topping. Your streusel topping, that's what makes it so, um, oh. so crunchy. Is when you've got really cold butter. Add uh -huh. um, two thirds of a cup of brown sugar, packed brown sugar. <laughs> sure. Ooh, it's like it's packed in there. Yeah. There you go. Man, I just feel like Stephen is going to. If you like peach cobbler in the summertime, this is going to be your favorite in mm -hmm. the fall winter. So that was a quarter teaspoon of salt, and now we're going to add. Let me get my two teaspoons of cinnamon. Okay, these look so happy and coated. Like, I can tell they've got a coating of butter on them. <laughs> yeah, they do. It seals them. It seals all the good parts. Can you butter. tell I don't bake? <laughs> We're going to add in our butter. I'm like, wow! So that's flour and brown sugar, basically, right? Yeah. And now your butter and cinnamon. Yes. And that was two thirds. And the of a whole cup. recipe for this will be on my website. This is Nana's recipe. Mm -hmm. And Nana lived life well. Love she Nana. lived to be 103, but you would not have known because she did kind of lie about her age. She definitely did. Yeah. I wanted to try to do the same, but they know too much about us nowadays to lie about your age. That's true. It's not sustainable. No, this thing needs to line up. Really? Yes. <laughs> oh, there's one over here. There it is. It's okay. there. Now look how pretty that is. She's not just pretty, ladies and gentlemen. Let me see my hands. Let me just see if I can do it. Have to add more butter. So you add it slowly? I do, because there's a lot in here. I think that's a great idea. What? Uh, 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 uh. Uh-huh. Yeah! You don't want to over chop it. Okay. Now we're just going to put our topping right over our apples. Oh, that's it? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Do we need to like flatten this out? We're, oh, just roughly. You don't have to. You're not like making a pizza. Okay. And you're spreading sauce on it. You know. Okay. Got it. It's pretty much. Yeah. That's perfect. And here goes our topping. Oh, um, there. Look at that. Perfect. Let's just spread that around. Mm. See those nice pieces of butter? That's where you're gonna get those nice crunchy little goodies oh. top the topping there it is and she's ready to go in the oven amazing okay so what is the oven set to 350 and let it cook i would check it at about 35 minutes it may take it depends on your oven it may be done in 30 minutes probably not 45 minutes i've had it sometimes take 50 minutes so okay. i would check it at about 35 40 minutes and see how she's doing you want that topping to be nice and golden brown. You want to get that in and let, let your heat escape. Oh, yes, ma'am. That's yes, true. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's wild. And that's apple brown easy. Betty. Yeah. Uh, it's great to also serve with butter pecan ice cream.
Mm. Of course, in our family, vanilla, French vanilla, vanilla, vanilla beans, beans a favorite. But just an idea to serve it with um, butter pecan ice cream is always good too. Yeah, I'm just so happy with how these turned out too. It's beautiful. So um, while we wait for it to cook, I want to go foraging for some beautiful branches. Okay. While we wait for this to cook. How do you rope me into this? I love it. Let me get my snippers. The bike for the- I know where we'll go. Where? I know where we'll go. <laughs> the streusel topping that we just made, uh -huh. I love it because I put it on muffins. Just <gasps> making oh. muffins. And if you make too much, it stores in your fridge. You can make fresh muffins the next morning and pop on, sprinkle some of that streusel on there. You're a genius. So you saw this place on your walk this morning? Yes, but this down here is pretty too. I just want long, leafy. Well, this is it, this is it, see? Oh yeah. Who would have ever known that foraging was a thing? I love it. There's and you know what I also love? What? I love that we have the same sunglasses and we literally look like twins. Aren't these the, <laughs> aren't these the Amazon ones that are like, yeah. just like the Tucker? These are the Amazon sunglasses? Yeah. Yeah. I think between you and Carol and I from Amazon, we have maybe what, eight pair of these? Last Christmas, you girls, you girls I gave got you a pair. Me and you got them for each other. Yeah. And then I got them for y'all. That's what happened. That sounds right. <laughs> that sounds right. That sounds like okay, us. So. Okay, first step of foraging is pop the trunk. Oh my gosh. This is not anyone's yard, actually. This is just fair game. Make sure you have sharp scissors. Um, it's like fragrant. It's beautiful. It smells really good. Also, think this would be beautiful at Christmas. When you tie a ribbon on a package, you want to put some fresh greenery on there. This would be beautiful. Yes. Look how delicate they are and dainty. I know. Beautiful. That's plenty. Gorgeous. Look. I we have the first that. berries of the season. That's beautiful. Yeah. So pretty. All right, so we are back and I am kind of just shaking everything out one by one before and like laying them out before we bring them inside. I just feel better doing that, you know? And I'm probably gonna let them sit out here for a few hours before I bring them in. Look at the berries, I'm so excited. Before I bring them inside, I just want them to get all the bugs. I don't wanna bring in bugs. Just letting them hang out out here. Okay, great, and we'll come back. There she is in all her glory. This is what your great grandmother and your grandmother served. Oh my gosh, Nana's apple brown Betty. How amazing does this smell? Fantabulous. This was always served for Thanksgiving dessert. Remember, even when you was a little girl. Aww. It wasn't Thanksgiving without apple brown batty for dessert. It's so beautiful and it looks so good. So show us how you plate. Oh, simple. We just scoop. And you also know it's done when you, all around those edges are bubbling. Yeah. Oh my gosh. How fabulous. Mm -hmm. The that. camera lens just fogged up like a little bit. <laughs> That looks amazing! Get those apples and oh those my juices gosh. in there. And of course, it's not finished and it's not ready to serve until Without you your top ice it cream. with. I know you can use a scooper, but we know be so fancy here. Like a little bitty do dollop. A little dollop. Oh my gosh. Ice cream. You can also use fresh cream. You don't have to use ice cream. Watch how quickly it melts. Isn't that amazing? It's literally amazing. So, do you see, let me show you why I like to use this. You know what's so funny is that we haven't made this in a long time, and now that we've made it again, I'm like remembering my yeah. Thanksgiving. See, see, I want you to see the syrup. That's why I like the syrup. You get this thickness that marries with all the apples. Oh, yeah, like the first thing we did yes. the butter and the sugar. Mm -hmm. And the orange juice. Or just so let me do this and we're gonna dive in. Oh my gosh. And taste. 
Oh my gosh. It's like Nana's here, isn't it? Nana and it really kind of is. Nana and Miss Ann are here. Aww. Grandmother and great grandmother. That one's already like melted and become uh -huh. one. <laughs> How beautiful. And you were gifted these beautiful yes, pop up yes, servers I was from somebody. by um, LB Originals, a mm -hmm. beautiful Etsy shop. Absolutely so, gorgeous. Do you want me to um, try? Yes, please. Okay. I want you to dive in. Oh my goodness. See, what is it Barefoot says? How easy was that? Yeah, how easy was that? <laughs> but it, it was so easy. It really was. It's got to be hot. Yeah, blow on that. Hmm. Oh. It's Thanksgiving, isn't it? It's how I remember it. <laughs> oh my gosh, Heather. You guys. You, it's like emotional. It is. It, it is. It's like core memories are being unlocked. Oh my gosh. With that little bit of ice cream on there. Oh my gosh. It reminds me of mm -hmm. um, Miss Ann and Daddy and Papa Rudy. It's amazing. I, I the hot, is it Thanksgiving? Can it be Thanksgiving already? <laughs> amazing. You have to serve this to your family, your friends. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. An apple brown Betty to finish it and top it's it It's incredible off. how the flour and the butter crisp up. Like, oh my gosh. And look at that amazing streusel. And I love your idea of using this streusel recipe for like muffins and stuff too. Oh, it's fabulous. Any pie or any kind of pie where you want like a streusel topping. Uh, oh, guess what else I use this on? What? Our sweet potatoes for the holidays. This is the recipe. Genius, okay. And I add um, pecans to it. Amazing, last night. Uh-huh. <laughs> lick it, lick it. When Steven's mom and dad got in last night, like on the um, the doorbell cam, mm -hmm. I saw him walking up and like I clicked press to talk and I was like, hey daddy. And he looked at the camera and he goes. <laughs> it was so funny. So yeah, I'm gonna bring this to them tonight. This is so good. Oh my Cheers. Cheers. My spoon is bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that during flu season. No. Unless you plan on not sharing, which I don't. This is so good. What are we gonna cook next? <laughs> this is. So oh, I have an idea. What? That's <laughs> not <laughs> so what we'll do next. Oh yes. Oh, I learned so much today. We did it together. I learned things. So remember, <laughs> this goes on your sweet potatoes with add pecans. Amazing. Okay. Okay. Again, the whole recipe will be on OsoLovingly.com. You're so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She wants to keep my looking. favorite part. You just want to look fun. Well, hello beauties. It's the next morning. I'm back home and I cannot wait to show you what we found when we were foraging and what I'm going to do with these beautiful long branches. I've made myself some wonderful coffee with foam. If you want to know how I make amazing coffee at home, click above because every time I make a cup of coffee this way, I am just so pleasantly surprised. Anyway, I wanted to tell you about a couple of my favorite new pieces of jewelry from a brand called Ana Luisa. It's her birthday as a business, so they're having an epic sale. And you will have seen me wearing their Celine diamond stacking ring in the first part of this video, but I wanted to draw attention. This is an absolutely beautiful like heart pendant. It's so dainty. I love her so much. And then utterly obsessed with her mother of pearl signet ring. It's got like a beautiful star in the middle and it's mother of pearl, the most beautiful signet ring. I adore her. She is like making everything pop. I really wanted to do this and wear these all the time before I tell you about them because I put them through the ringer. They are humidity tested, they are heat tested. It will not tarnish. And this necklace, I'm telling you something, I use so much serum every night and for this to still look so new and so fresh, it might as well be solid gold but it's not, and it is very affordable, so check the link in the description. I will include the link to shop this sale, and oh my goodness, I'm just really, I've fallen in love with their jewelry. Let me show you the diamond stacking ring that I wear all the time. 
because I don't wear this all the time. It's kind of more, more of a special occasion ring, but I'll show you the stack that I wear all the time. Okay, so this is my always stack. The one on the bottom here is their gorgeous Celine Pave stacking diamond ring. Diamonds all the way around. It is absolutely to die for. And I just, I'm loving all of it. Like, it's so dainty. It has been so sturdy. Like, I'm very impressed with the Ana Luisa jewelry, so definitely check it out. It's her birthday sale, and I hope you guys find some pieces that you will love because it really just elevates your everyday. And I showed it to my sister, and she wants to get one with an initial of our niece. But anyway, now would be the time to do it because it's her birthday sale, and I highly recommend her pieces. I have been blown away by the quality and um, by how much it sparkles, no matter how much you wear it. So anyway, let's go see what we foraged. I'm so happy to show you the foraging. Yay! <laughs> this time of year, I love to do this. These are the beautiful hurricane glasses from Abigail's that I got in this vlog and go back and watch that. But this is my favorite thing to do with long hurricanes like this is forage. And all throughout the fall and winter, you have this gorgeous display of just greenery all throughout your home. And it really does like cheer me up, honestly. And I have something very fun to also show you. Lime lights. They're already dried. I have a whole plan for this and I can't wait to show you where both of the <laughs> nice Auburn cup. I cannot wait to show you where they're going to live. I'll show you now. I thought they looked so beautiful framing the sink in the kitchen. Like, oh my goodness. And now I'm going to add a couple of the gorgeous lime lights in with the fixtures. Taking the leaves off of the lime lights. And the key with cutting them was keeping the stems really long. So that they could make a really big statement. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. side maybe. I think that's so pretty. I think it's so unique. Actually, actually, that one. Yes. I really like being able to manipulate the branches too. the kitchen. It's so happy in here now. Yay! I love this way of framing the sink. It's really happy. 